Hey, what is going on everybody? My name is Casper from Charles Always and welcome back to another episode of Undertale. Now, last time I cliffhangered you and I'm so sorry about that, but you'll see why in a second. I remember the day after my son died. The entire underground was devoid of hope. The future had once again been taken from us by the humans. In a fit of anger, I declared war. I said that I would destroy any human that came here. I would use their souls to become godlike and free us from this terrible prison. Then I would destroy humanity and let monsters rule the surface in peace. Soon the people's hopes returned. My wife, however, became disgusted with my actions. She left this place never to be seen again. Truthfully, I do not want power. I do not want to hurt anyone. I just wanted everyone to have hope, but I cannot take this any longer. I just want to see my wife. I just want to see my child. Please, young one, this war has gone on long enough. You have the power. Take my soul and leave this cursed place. And this is where decision comes. What do we do? Realize I should have left the episode off here and been like, hey, what do you guys want me to do? But I would have just ended up hitting mercy anyways because look at it. It's got the cracks and everything and you gotta be merciful. After everything I have done to hurt you, you would rather stay down here and suffer than live happily on the surface? Human, I promise you, for as long as you remain here, my wife and I will take care of you as best we can. We can sit in the living room, telling stories, eating butterscotch pie. We could be like, like a family. You haven't learned a thing in this world. It's kill or be killed. <laughs> the true villain has arised. Kind of deal. It's just like in uh, the end of uh, Super Paper Mario, for those of you who saw the series. Oh, game crashed. Yeah, so that's the thing that happens. Game actually crashes on you, so that's why I have the face cam too, is because you know the episode isn't over, but the game fully crashes on you. It's part of the coding. And it's just like, what? I was so confused the first time. I was confused there. I was like, wait, 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 what just happened? It was really weird. I don't know if that actually was part of the game or not at this point, but that is... <laughs> if that wasn't part of the game, that's a very bad point to, like, for the game to crash. I think that was actually part of the game, though, because it got the whole... Like notification thing too from uh computer but yeah that's a thing the game crashes on you so i'm just gonna hit the button here and make it go all big again excuse me undertale do you wanna there you go long ago she races ruled over earth humans and monsters one day See, this is... I was so confused about what happened again. And I was like, what's going on? And my game crashed. It broke. I broke the game. What? I hit the mercy button when I wasn't supposed to kind of idea. I was confused there because I'm like, whoa, 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 the game can't crash now. Anyways, we're continuing. It's me, Flowey! Flowey the flower! I owe you a huge thanks! You really did a number on that old fool! Without you, I never could have gotten past him! But now, with your help, 
He's dead. And I've got the human souls. Boy, I've been empty for so long. It feels great to have a soul inside me again. I can feel them wriggling. Ah, oh, you're feeling left out, aren't you? Well, that's just perfect. After all, I only have six souls. I still need one more before I become God. And then, with my newfound powers, monsters, humans, everyone, I'll show them all the real meaning of this world. Oh, and forget about escaping to your old save file. It's gone forever. But don't worry. Your old friend for now, he has worked out a replacement for you. I'll save over your own death. So you can watch me tear you to bloody pieces. Over and over and over. What? Do you really think you can stop me? <laughs> you really are an idiot. You see this so much, you learn to hate it, but I'm sitting here in love with this every moment right now. And I'm like, I was looking at this like, oh my god, he turned to a giant bug flower thing. And then you see that, and you're just, it's just disgusting. Like, just... Why, wow, you're so disgusting. Well, there goes that. Game over. This is all just a bad dream. And you're never waking up. Poof. Game crashed. Yay! And that's the biggest annoyance of this fight, is every time you die, the game crashes on you, <laughs> and you have to go back into Steam, click the play button, get the notification if you're on Mac like me, and it's like, yeah, <laughs> let's just ruin everything. I feel like Flowey now, God, the voice, so much fun to do, I won't lie. But yeah, this is where the mystifying wonders of my YouTube career get ruined because the whole concept of you could see this stupid like Undertale thing because it's like I play a game, you're not immersed in the world kind of idea. Anyways, <laughs> did you really think it was gonna be? I was gonna be satisfied killing you one time. Hate you so much, Flowey. Oh, already? Oh, already? Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's beautiful. You called for help.
<laughs> oh, I forgot about all- oh my god, I forgot about all these secondary attacks. Oh god, oh god, oh god, fight. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, okay. You called for help. Oh god. Oh god, I forgot about that part. Warning blue heart. Oh my god. I remember the first time I did this, I died so much right off the bat that I couldn't actually- Oh god. Book it, book it, book it, book it, book it, go, go, go! You called for help. Oh god, don't touch, don't touch me, don't touch me! Oh god, I don't know how to dodge those. Those things are like impossible to avoid. Oh god, oh god, oh god! Oh god! B bugs, 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 bugs. Oh god! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god! I hate this one, there's no pattern to this! Oh, purple heart, thank you. Come save me now, please. Remember the first time I fought this, again, I was trying to say before, is that... I... Cruel trap, murder, destroy, cruelty, murder, corrupt, nightmare, destroy, cruelty, terror, death, corrupt, trap, ruin. Act, you called for help. Hope. Luck. Dreams. Happiness. Oh no, I didn't get nearly as much else as I wanted there. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god, my, okay, my finger's on the right button. Okay. Uh, uh, I was ready for that time. I wasn't ready for that time. Oh god, oh god, don't, don't die, don't die, don't die. Warning, green heart. Oh my god. Oh my god, my heart's racing right now. Which was this? Okay, this is this one. You called for help. Oh my god, I forgot about this. This What are you doing to me? What is this? Yellow heart? Okay, take me places please. Away from away from ugly disaster flowery. You called for help. Oh god, oh god. I got like no health from that one. Oh no. My hope is flying away. <laughs> Flowey's defense dropped to zero.
Surviving only because I have the heals constantly coming towards me. Oh god, take the hope. I don't, I'm not even looking at the health bar right now. I'm just, I'm basically staring at that fight button so I can maneuver against everything else. Get the health and hit the fight button as often as I can. Oh, we're halfway there, we're halfway there. No, no! This can't be happening! You, you... You idiots! <laughs> Did you really think? You could defeat me! I am the god of this world! And you, you're hopeless. Hopeless and alone. Golly, that's right! You're worthless friends! Can't save you now! Kale, for help, I dare you! Cry into the darkness! Mommy, Daddy, somebody help! See what good it does for you! You called for help. But nobody came. Boy, what a shame. Nobody else is going to get to see you die. <laughs> the face of... Uh, what? How dare you? How'd you... Well, I'll just... Uh, uh, where are my powers? The, the souls? What are they doing? No! No! You can't do that! You were supposed to pay me! Stop! Stop it! Stop! Boom. Done. What are you doing? Do you really think I've learned anything from this? No. Sparing me won't change anything. Killing me is the only way to end this. If you let me live, I'll come back. I'll kill you. I'll kill everyone! I'll kill everyone you love. Why? Why are you being so nice to me? I can't understand. I can't understand. I just can't understand. Flowey ran away, but he's a flower, so he hobbled away. <laughs> Granted, Temmie basically just like teleported her mouth, everything but her mouth, so it's a thing. That's it. That is the ending of Undertale. That is the neutral ending of Undertale. So, in the end, you can choose either to kill Asgore or Flowey or you can kill anyone you want at this game, basically. Um, the reason I did this is because right after this, uh, I'm going to be doing a next episode. Because even though it's the end, 
It's not the true ending. There is another ending where it's just called the true pacifist for those of you who don't know, and I'm going to be doing that to completion. So that is the neutral ending. So that is the ending of Undertale. As you can see. Hey, yeah. Is anyone there? Well, just calling to say, you made a snowman really happy. Guess I should say something else, too. So, it's been a while. The queen returned and is now ruling over the underground. She's instated a, a new policy. All the humans who fall here will be treated not as enemies, but as friends. It's probably for the best. Anyway, the human souls the king gathered seem to have disappeared. So, uh, that plan ain't happening anytime soon. But even though people are heartbroken over the king, and things are looking grim for our freedom, the queen's trying her best not to let us give up hope. So, uh, hey, but we're not getting given up down here. Don't give up wherever you are, okay? Who knows how long it will take. But we will get our out we will but we will get out of here. Sans, who are you talking to? Oh, nobody. What? Nobody? Can I talk to them too? Here, knock yourself out. Wait a second. I recognize this number. Attention human! I, the great papyrus, am now captain of the Royal Guard. It's everything I have ever dreamed of. Except instead of fighting, we just water flowers. So that's ever so slightly different. And we're helping Dr. Alfie's with her research. She's gonna find a way to get us out of here. Undyne is helping her too. Though, to be honest, her method of helping seems kind of explosion inducing. But I think Alfie's likes having her around. Uh oh. Hey! What are you up to? Yeah! Please don't know you the phone! Hey, who's in charge here? Me? Oh, yeah. That's right. I quit my job as leader of the Royal Guard. Actually, since we won't be fighting anymore, the Royal Guard is totally disbanded. There's, uh, only one member now. But he's extremely good! Yeah, he is. Come here! Please don't nugget the skeleton! Anyways, now I'm working as Alfie's lab assistant. We're gonna find a way out of this dump once, for, once and for all. Oh, and yeah. I'm a gym teacher at the Queen's New School. Did you know I can bench press seven children? Awesome, right? Hey. I'm sorry about what happened with Asgore. You were just doing what you had to. It's not your fault, he... <sighs> Darn it. I missed the big guy. Come on, uh, Undyne. Snap out of it. Uh, I guess I'll tell you how Alfie's is doing. Well, she's the same as ever. Maybe a little more reclusive than normal. Seems like something's really bothering her. But she can get through it. I'm there supporting her. That's what friends are for, right? Hey. Wherever you are, hope it's better than here. It took a lot of sacrifice for you to get there. So wherever you are, you have to try to be happy, okay? For our sakes. We'll feel better knowing our trouble was worth it. We're all with you. Everyone is. Even the queen! Hey, wait a second. Toriel! Toriel! Do you wanna... Heh. <laughs> She says she's busy. But if she knew who we were talking to... We wouldn't get this phone back for at least a few hours. We have the mercy to spare you from her. But call her back anytime, okay? She'd love to talk. Oh, whoops. This thing's almost out of batteries. So hate to cut this short, but... Be seeing you, okay, buddy? Bye-bye for now! See ya, punk. And that is the neutral ending of Undertale, but there's many more to find. I will not be doing the worst ones, but oh, hi. Why? Why did you let me go? Don't you realize that being nice just makes you get hurt? Look at yourself. You made all these great friends, but now you've probably never seen them again. Not to mention how much they've been set back by you. Hurts, doesn't it? If you'd just gone through without caring about anyone... You wouldn't have to feel bad now, so I don't get it. If you really did everything the right way, why do things still end up like this? Why? Is life really that unfair? Say, what if I told you I knew some way to get you a better ending? You'll have to load your save file and, well, in the meantime, why don't you go see Dr. Alfie's? It seems like you could have been better friends. Who knows? Maybe she's got the key to your happiness. See you soon. That's the epilogue. So not so much an epilogue, more of going to a different ending, like I said, going on to a new episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and nevertheless, I'll catch you guys next one.